What's up everybody, this is Tadpole Superhero, and today we're playing Disney Infinity 3.0. Whoa, hello floors, walls, and ceiling. And we're playing as Korra from Tron, from Tron Legacy. And she looks awesome. She is ready to decorate her house. She also has Mad Ninja skills and combat abilities, which we'll explore in a different episode. Remember to talk to your guests. You told they me this the last time I was here, narrator. For you. Come on, man. I just want to build stuff, buddy. I just want to decorate my dream homes. Anyway, playing as Korra. She is just fantastic. This is really cool. So, last time, what did we do? We added a sidekick suite and let Scrooge decorate it, and he made it rather hilarious. And we created Olaf's hallway with his portrait and this disgustingly pink and frilly uh, Minnie's lounge, which we're totally going to change that. Uh, let's see if there are any challenges or quests. Looks like Cogsworth has some stuff. What do you, what do you have to say, grandfather? Who invented Iron Man? Who invented Iron Man? Totally Pepper Potts. No, Tony Stark. Oh, we get we can do quizzes for Sparks. That's cool. All right, who are you? Who are you? I don't even know who you are. Are you Jet? It's Jasmine, the sorcerer in Fantasia is named Yen Sid, which is Disney backwards. That's cool. Darkwing Duck, what's up? Okay, he's just telling me the same thing he did last time. What's up, little little godmother, fairy godmother? Huge fan of Phineas and Ferb. Okay, so Doofenshmirtz is from Phineas and Ferb. Okay. So you want me to decorate a room... Or customizing a room as Doofenshmirtz Evil Incorporated. So let's actually... Hey, sorry about that, guys. I had, to, <laughs> I, had to, I had to cut out for a second. So anyway, I'm back. But I didn't do anything. Let's talk to Scrooge McDuck. Plenty more sparks to be earned in all this stuff. In all this... Why are you still... Okay, so Scrooge is just like... Every time you earn a certain amount of sparks, he'll have some sparks to give you. Okay, so let's add a room. We're going to do the Doofenshmirtz thing. Wait, where are the rooms? Uh, rooms. There we go. Okay. So we want a Doofenshmirtz room. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do a three-door room. How do we want to do this? Okay, and then we'll have a little, a little, hello, a little closet. We'll have a Doofenshmirtz closet. Let's try that. Let's try that out. All right, Mr. Phineas and Ferb, dude. I don't know who you are. I'm sorry, guys. I've never seen Phineas and Ferb. So if you guys know who he is, please educate me. All right, so Doofenshmirtz Evil Incorporated. Why would I want evil inside my house? Why would I want corporate evil inside my house? It's a very bland wall. Very normal looking wall. Okay, a little bit of metal accents. Alright. Oh, the floor is all like polished and stuff. Is there a like evil chandelier? Spidey's bad guy chandelier. What does that look like? Oh, that's cool. All right. So what do we got? Is there a Doofenshmirtz? That's such a funny word. Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> Is there a Doofenshmirtz chandelier? It doesn't look like it. Did I do it? Oh, I just need to do walls, <laughs> ceiling, and walls, floor, and accents. Doctor Doofenshmirtz sidekick. Okay. So we unlocked a new sidekick, cool. Sorcerer Mickey's Utopia is the 55th animated feature from Walt Disney Animation Studios. That comes out next year and I'm so excited. It looks so funny. It looks so funny. I'm really I'm really looking forward to Zootopia. Okay, so we did another another uh, questy. Another questy bestie. Alright, what's going on? Hey Snow White. She misplaced a dear friend, a kind little bird. I have to find a bird. 
Scavenger hunt time. All right. Luckily, we haven't added a ton of rooms, so there isn't a lot of space where the bird could be. Little birdie, where are you? Little birdie. Hello. Oh, hello, little birdie. No, don't run away. Don't run away. Aw. Such a cute little birdie. Alright, well, Cora will be very happy to deliver your little friend back to you. I almost called her. I almost called her Pocahontas. Wait, what? I hit the talk button. Uh. Snow White. No, what? I don't want you. Go away. Okay, well that's that's a little weird. All right, let's talk to Cogsworth. Let's see what he's got going on. Toy store. Oh, okay. Do you have anything else to teach me? Okay, I did all those. Oh, what else can I customize? Use the magic wand to decorate, edit, or change the appearance of your room. Aim so what the magic else do I need to read? The walls to select them for customization. What else do I need to? Re I, gosh, I get words mixed up when I'm talking while playing. Okay, so oh, so he wants select me to change the, the lighting for the customization you want to apply. Uh, what kind of room do we want? Then select the customization you want to apply. Let's do a snuggly duckling room. Snuggly duckling. Oh, look at those doorways. I love it. Yay. Walls, floors, and trim are oh, the only cool. elements of your interior that you can customize. Browse all of the categories to see what other customizations are available. Did I do it? Did I do it good? Mission complete. All right, cool. And if you notice, look at the um, look at my spark counter. It's at 10,000. At the beginning of this episode, it was like 9,700. So you actually gain sparks, not just for fighting bad guys, not just for completing quests, but also for uh, placing items in the world, placing rooms, customizing rooms. So you get sparks for doing all kinds of cool stuff. All right, which of these characters was a Jedi Padawan before Order 66? Oh, that's easy. Kanan. That's, those are Star Wars Rebels characters. All right, cool. So... Yeah, now we can just run around and do stuff. This what do you is want, the Kermit? Guest gatherer. What? Yeah, I know about the guest gatherer. So that that thing, that statue, is what brings all these different guests, these different toy characters, into your world. Okay, so I wanted to spend. I wanted to do this last episode, but interiors just become so uh, absor all encompassing and, and absorbing. So we're gonna check out the toy store and see some of the cool stuff we can get and we're going to do that with interiors today so you have categories so we have customizations which is walls floors trims uh ceiling lights all that stuff we have rooms furniture assorted disney decorations marvel decorations star wars decorations character portraits you can't buy you get character portraits based on uh, what characters you have. And there are only portraits for characters from 2.0 and 3.0. So there's no Rapunzel portrait because she's from 1.0. Makes me sad. Arcade cabinets, oh that's cool. All right, and then other furniture, assorted furniture. So let's, let's just go through, see what I don't have because I already bought way too many things. Uh, so I bought a ton of these, these are themes. So each of the themes gives you Floors, walls, and accents for that theme. So you have Vintage, Fantasyland, The Beast Ballroom, Rapunzel's Tower, of course. I had to have that one. Uh, so what do I not have? Down the Rabbit Hole. Oh, Alice in Wonderland theme. So let's grab that. Emperor Kuzco. Oh, from Emperor's New Groove. I love it. Nemo's Fish Tank. So these are all themes that you can get, uh, and I have basically all of them. Oh wait, there's another page of themes. Never, never, blah, blah, blah. never mind. Uh, okay, so now we got some Star Wars stuff. Echo Base, the Ghost Freighter from Rebels. Uh, okay, so I do have the the superhero ones. D 
Disney Cruise theme. Unlock this toy by placing your Oceaneer band. What is that? I wonder if that's a power disc. El Capitan Theater. Oh, cool. Fre oh, Big Hero 6. Fred's Lair. I gotta have that. I love Big Hero 6. That is another of my favorite movies. Big Hero 6 and Tangled. Those are probably my, my two favoriteest Disney animated movies ever. Uh, nice Landers Apartment Complex. There's so much. There's so much. Okay, so we're not going to get everything because we want to try some stuff out. So now we're in uh, lobby themes. Okay. So this is stuff that's only in the lobby. So you have pillars and centerpieces. So we have just the regular one, which is what we have right now. So we'll check some of those out. Uh, fantasy. Technology Death Star lobby theme. Costs a thousand sparks. Sure. Why not? Uh, and then we have, oh, centerpieces. Millennium Falcon. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Jedi statue. So you can, like, customize your area to look sort of like a Jedi temple. You can have an interior. So that's another thing you can do with interiors is you can create an area uh, that's like the Avengers Tower or like the Snuggly Duckling or like the Jedi Temple or, you know, in interiors, you can do so much with it. You can create your own beast's castle if you want. There's all kinds of furniture for that. That's what's so cool about this. We can get an ad at. Oh, that's cool. Ewok bonfire. An X-Wing. Oh, an inside out. That looks so cute. All right, and then we have special pillars that are just for, I think just for the lobby. We have Agrabah. Ewok, tree houses, power generators. Yeah, so Jedi Temple Pillars. Another thing that you can use to make your thing however you want it to be. Snuggly Duckling. Yes, please. Vault Door. Oh, so we can change the secret door. Right now it's a bookcase. We can make it a vault. Okay, cool. What else do we have? We have different ceiling lights. So some of the ones I don't have, like Corellian ceiling light. That's from Star Wars. Yes, please. Moss Eisley Cantina, Jabba's Palace, Topsy Turvy Table Show. Oh, that's Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> that's great. Let's get that. Nice Landers Pixel Pendant Light. Oh, cool. And many more. Oh, this is from Fred's Room. I got to get the Big Hero 6 stuff. Of course. Uh, and more chandeliers. Carl and Ellie from Up. Death Star, Echo Base, Litwax Arcade. Oh, that's from uh, 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 Wreck-It Ralph. Castle Banners. There's so much stuff. There's just so much stuff. I love it. All right, what else do we have? Okay, so these are all the themes. Okay, so that's all the interior customization. Let's go to rooms. What rooms do I not have? I guess I have all of them. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so these are some of the rooms you automatically have unlocked and some of them you have to buy. And I have all of them. But So we've seen the sidekick suite, but we can also add, and we'll check those out in future episodes. Uh, you can add a discotheque, a place where your sidekicks will have a dance party. You have a, a haunted house for your sidekicks to play games. A dojo for your sidekicks. Ooh, a garden ballroom. And we've seen the money bin. Command center. Cool. <clears throat> uh, all right uh disney infinity furniture anything here i don't have we have trophies you'd think you'd have to like earn the trophies or something well so much for that idea okay and then we have just uh in individual items so we have like steamboat willie's whistle we have a jukebox from a uh, uh oh from make my music i was thinking all the cats join in so i was thinking aristocats but I guess not. Winston's bowl. Cool. Duck armor. Duck armor. That's fantastic. That's a necessity for any Disney dream home. Ursula's cauldron. Oh my gosh. Look at all this stuff, guys. Look at all this stuff. This is fantastic. What else? Do we have? Yeah, so we have a map of Neverland. That's great. Honey pots from Winnie the Pooh. Sorry about my voice, by the way. I'm a little a little stuffed up, so I'm sorry about that. Squid tentacle. Why would you? 
Why would you want a squid tentacle inside your house? That's freaky. Anyway, all right, bed knobs and broomsticks. Recognize your neon sign. Okay, so that's from that's a Tron thing. Okay, cool. We have some beds, so Phineas and Ferb. For the birds couch. That looks really cool. Let's give that. I'm just buying stuff. We're going to be decorating, but I want to show you guys kind of the vast amount of items there are. So these are Marvel decorations. So we have like Ant-Man's helmet, uh, the Super Soldier Serum, the capsule where Captain America became Captain America. We have his classic shield, a table. We got shield logos and Ghost Rider stuff and Beta Ray Bill's hammer. The thr which we saw the throne of Thanos in the first episode and it is depressingly tiny that's really disappointing Odin's bed looks cool though casket of ancient winters I think there's also the uh, I have Peter Quill's uh, Walkman the infinity gauntlet I thought there was the Tesseract somewhere well okay so we have some Star Wars stuff yeah there's just tons of stuff Character portraits. Okay, arcade cabinets, which there's so many cool stuff. There's Heroes Duty. There's Sugar Rush. There's Fix and Felix Jr. There's Tron. And then there are just uh, assorted kind of generic pinball games and uh, arcade cabinets. So you can create your own version of Litwox Arcade or Flynn's Arcade. Uh, so you have like a shooter game. You have a widescreen two-player game. What else do we got? We have a triple player game. I don't have that. And then you just have different boxes. That one looks like it has a steering wheel. It looks like it's a standing racing game, which I've never actually seen a one like that. I've only seen the ones where you sit down, like Sugar Rush. Uh, so we have, you know, different types. There's another shooter game. There looks like a fighting game. That one does. Stitch Invaders, Mansion of the Departed. A zombie apocalypse themed arcade game. Oh my gosh. And Swing Frenzy. Okay, cool. Then we have different furniture. So we have Minnie Mouse's house. Uh, so these come in packs. So you can see the entire pack costs a thousand sparks. But you can also hit X if you're playing on the Wii U. And you can see what comes in the pack. So it comes with 10 different pieces of furniture. So you have couches and chairs and counters and a dinner table and a fridge. So lots of stuff. Cool. Cinderella's Castle, Dwarf's Cottage, Rapunzel's Tower, awesome. Snuggly Duckling Furniture, yes please. We have a bear, a bear chair. Oh, this is great. Oh, we saw this, so I actually don't own that, but Scrooge was able, so your sidekicks can decorate sidekick suites with items you don't already have, like this fantastic body outline. Uh, I'm gonna add more chains to the walls. Oh yeah, the, uh, the abominable bouquet. We also saw that. Oh, cool. Okay. And then what's in this one? What's in the second pack? Yeah, the helmet rack. Oh, the fireplace from it. Ooh, a wanted poster. Wanted, dead or alive. Flynn Rider. One of my favorite characters. Puppy dog eyes. Oh, I love this. I'm running out of sparks, so I want to kind of look through stuff. Olaf's furniture. King Stefan's castle. There's so much stuff. Oh my gosh. This is fantastic. Yes, you got a sailboat. You got his little hot tub. Oh, I love that. I love it. Oh, I love it. That costs 5000 for the pack. Oh my gosh. What else do we have? Haunted Mansion. Jack Skellington. Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love this so much. Nicelanders are apartment complex. Litwax Arcade. What comes in that? Okay, so you have specific items for his arcade. So the bowling machine. I love those things. Those things are so much fun. Uh oh, a change machine. Okay. Oh, we can get a little DDR going on. Trash cans out of oh, this the saddest sign ever. Yeah. All right, what else? Oh, yes, Fred's Lair, Big Hero 6. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is straight out of the movie. I love this stuff. Oh, man. I'm going to be, like, so fanboying in this in all of these episodes. Oh, cool. You have a school mascot suit. You have Hero's suit. Dude. 
Oh, that's this stuff is straight out of the movies. I love it. Ah, I love that painting. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, this is so great. All right, we're going to go through the rest and see what else there is, and then I might have to buy some of it. Um, Yeah. El Capitan Theater stuff, Disney Cruise. So that's another thing with the Oceaneer Band. I wonder what that is, because I have I haven't seen anything about an Oceaneer Band piece, so I wonder if that's something that's unannounced, but the stuff's already in the game. Okay, Gravity Falls, which I have not seen, but I probably should. Andy's Room, Monsters University, Nemo's Fish Tank. Look at the insane amount of variety in this game. This is fantastic. This is amazing. I love it. Guardians of the Galaxy Hulk, which I have to say something about the Hulk furniture because I looked at the pack before and this is kind of lame because it's just a bunch of broken green and purple stuff. So it's not really very uh, creative on that front. <laughs> I do like this, though. You can get the Iron Man suits, two of them, the Mark One and the Mark Seven in their cabinets. That is so cool. Uh, you can get the bunny from uh, Iron Man 3. Oh, this is great. Captain America furniture. Sweet. Okay, and then we got some Star Wars stuff. Cool. Oh, and this is where all the ceiling lights are. Oh, wait. we are Okay, so we're back. We're back at the beginning. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, so we have seen everything. I'm not going to buy anything else in this episode because let me see what, how we're doing on time. Oh, we're almost out. Let's uh, let's decorate a small room. Let's just... Uh, uh, what, are, what are we going to do? I want to do some more. I just I want to do some more stuff. We've seen the toy box. See how much, see how this can just soak can up so much time without you really thinking about it. Let's, let's actually change the Doofenshmirtz room. And let's give it a cool theme and let's start decorating it. So let's make this. What do we want to do? Uh, let's make this a closet. Oh, I just, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I want to do. What kinds of, uh, oh, the music just kicked in. Return what kinds your of interior furniture do I have and what do I want to use? Your last visit. Let's make this a mini arcade. Flynn's Arcade. Okay. Flynn's Arcade. Flynn's Arcade. So let's get it dazzled up as Flynn's Arcade. Coolio. Oh, that is so sleek and shiny. And let's let's just take a look at adding uh, different furniture. So let's look at electronics. Because this is where you have all the all the arcade stuff. So what do we want in a mini arcade? Somewhere where people can just kind of drop in and hang out. We do want the Tron game because it's based off of Flynn's arcade. Which, where is it? Where is the Tron game? There's the Tron game. Okay, so the Tron arcade cabinet. So you can see one of the things that's a little disappointing about the uh, interior decorating is the camera angles are very tight. Even in the big rooms, the camera the angles are very limited. To do it. So, to your it can take a bit of finessing and finagling to try and make things come together the way you want them to. Uh, okay, some more games. Let's find that. Oh, which one was it? Let's get a pinball machine in here. That looks cool. Yeah, we can have a pinball machine, machine right next to. Tr well, let's space out the games because you don't want people to bother each other too much. Where's that zombie one? Where's the zombie one? Gotta get the zombie one. Yes, Mansion of the Departed. I love these games, these uh, two-player arcade shooter games. Me and my brother, are just it's, it's something we've done for years and years. We love doing those. It's tons of fun. So let's slap a sugar rush in the on the wall, because why not? Now this is gonna be a nice sort of relaxing area, so you can play a couple of games. You know how in some movie theaters they have sort of this little little sort of nook out of the way where there's a couple of arcade cabinets? That's kind of what I'm thinking with this. Uh, so let's find some rugs. That's what I'm thinking. Thinking some rugs. Where are the rugs? There we go. Uh, oh. Rugs are really gigantic. 
So this is what you can do. This is kind of the stuff that's involved in interior stuff. Rug of the future. Game grid floor cover. Oh, that's really cool. Wait, what just happened? Okay, that was weird. I, like, couldn't move things. Um... Can I put two of them side by side? Is there enough room for that? No, there isn't. Okay. Uh, let's try that. Yeah, because it makes sense for that to go into the Tron some game. Have special uh, and then we can... If you can help them, they'll reward you. Well, we need some lighting. So where's electronics again? Yeah, we need some lighting in here. So what do we have? We can get some some simple lamps. Or we can get a little a little crazy with like a game... Oh, that's cool. All right, yeah, getting some getting some fancy snazzy lighting. Okay, cool. There's tons of different lighting objects, which is so great. Okay, now let's go to let's get a couple of seating items, and I think we'll be good for now. We can add some stuff to the wall eventually. Okay, seating and beds. Uh, what kinds of stuff? We need something to sit on. You know, if people just want to hang out. You know, wait their turn for a game. Ooh, a couch. You want a couch or chairs? Let's have a couch on one side. A game grid couch. Let's put this in the corner so it's out of the way of them. And... Oh, what else do we want? Yeah, we want some chairs. You know, if people don't want to sit next to each other, you gotta give them some chairs to sit in. Okay, what kind of chairs do we have? So those are all beds. <laughs> we, could, we could put it in the dinky throne of Thanos. No thanks. King Louis throne. Nah. Just doesn't fit the theme. Alright, couches, 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 couches. Uh yeah, let's go with some simple simple seating. Simple seating. So let's have a red and a green. Okay, cool. I like it. So you come out and you check it out and look. You got all your stuff set up and you got the games and your and the little townspeople can jump in and play the game. So you got Kermit playing a pinball game. You got Grandpa Dude. I don't know who he is. Is he from Mulan? Probably. Playing <laughs> playing House of the Departed and blasting zombies. <laughs> I love how they jump up on little stools to play them too. It's so great. So you actually can't play the arcade games, unfortunately. Uh, but you can watch other people play them. It's really, it's, it's super cute. And you can see them sometimes jump up onto the seating and furniture. It's great. I love this game. What is Lightning McQueen's... Oh, shoot. I have no idea. Oh, so close. Okay, well. So anyway, that is that is our interior episode for the day. Uh, I hope you had fun watching. So now that we've gone over a lot of the basics, we'll be in the future doing more decorating and actually putting stuff in the world instead of just customizing things and talking to people. We'll check out some of the sidekick rooms and areas that you can put your sidekicks in to dance the night away or play games. And yeah, we'll be decorating more rooms and creating our own Disney dream home. If you guys have any suggestions below of room themes or different types of furniture you want to see or ideas for rooms that you want to see, let me know. We're going to be checking out lobby customization and other stuff. We're going to do something about Frilly McFrills over here, this super frilly room. Uh, and we'll be expanding the expanding the interior, adding new rooms, creating furniture, and developing and designing our own fantastic dream home. And this is going to be a little collaborative process. Collaborative process. So if you guys have ideas or suggestions, let me know. I'd love to hear from you and we can work together to create the coolest interior in the history of Disney Infinity. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Cora and Tadpole Superhero doing interior stuff and having an awesome time. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and remember to always be fantastic.